Hello there, guys. I know it's been a while. There's not a lot to report. I just finished doing a video on my Instagram page, so you guys can go on over to my Instagram page, okay? But anyway, this is where I do the Michael news. Um, anyway, we, not much happening in the Michael world, okay? But I want to preface something by showing you guys a little video clip, okay? So here we go, a little video clip. This is in 1988. That's Mickey Howard. And there's Marlon. Marlon and Mickey. Okay, 1988. Okay. She won a Soul Train Music Award. Okay. And Marlon's there because the whole family knows Mickey so well. And Don Lewis, I remember her. Soul Train Best New Artist, Mickey Howard. They're so happy. Joe was her manager. And uh, she was like a family member to the Jacksons. Okay, and a lot of people are like, you know, because I believe with everything that I've researched, everything that I've seen, more and more and more that Brandon Howard is Michael Jackson's biological son, and due to the, it was before Thriller, okay, so all Michael's dreams were about to come true, he was already upset with his brothers about getting married because he said they disappointed the fans, Michael wanted to clean, to, um, cling on to that he was an available bachelor without any children okay plus you know being the the child of michael jackson would be just tremendously hard but so what they've done they covered it up i that's what i believe because everything she was more like a beauty queen mm -hmm. mickey howard entered teen beauty contest that mm -hmm. she didn't win more mm -hmm. like a okay beauty queen that's billy jean I've been listening to a lot of Billie Holiday lately. Oh my God, Her, the early voice of Billie Holiday. Oh my God, from like the before like 1950. Oh my God. Oh mm -hmm. my God, I've been mm -hmm. listening to her. But anyway, that was Mickey Howard's favorite artist, Billie Holiday. So Billie Jean, Billie Holiday, more like a beauty queen. Uh, she lived at the Havenhurst house, and before she before she got pregnant, and. Then we have the whole song, Billie Jean, and Brandon's voice, his body, everything. It just all matches. But anyway, there's more stuff, okay? So watch this if you want to know more about Brandon Howard being Michael Jackson's son, okay? Live for Michael Jackson, The Missing Pieces, okay? And that brings me to a news article. Bruno Mars is supposed to be Michael's son. Show me where his mama and Michael or the family knew. And then uh, Michael drew pictures of Mickey Howard. Back in the 80s, okay? I'm, I'm telling y'all, okay? Brandon is Michael's biological child and they covered it up, okay? And right now, even to this day, 30 years later, 30-something years later, okay? Brandon, is he 40? 81, 91, 01? Oh my God, 40 years later, Brandon is still hanging out, making music with 3T, Jackie, um, Deals, um, the cousins, I'm telling y'all, okay, um, the, who else, just one, oh yeah, and Dante, okay, that's going to be in a live five, Dante Williams is going to be in a live five, I think, I think, okay, and whenever I can produce a live five, okay, I don't have that much time, so Bruno Mars being Michael's secret, that's just ridiculous, it's absurd, there's no connection, just like with, um, what was his name, Geppetto, right, he said he was Jermaine's son. I was like, uh, show me your mama back when you were born with the Jacksons. Show me some evidence of that. Who is your mama? Okay, because it has to be conceived. They had to have sex back then, right? So that's what you look for. You look for that connection at the time of, of conception, when they had sex, when they got pregnant. That's the only thing that makes sense. And with Bruno Nars, there's nothing but stupidness. It's just silly. But anyway, that's the kind of news that's out there right now. Okay. Um, oh, the Jacksons three albums have been released. The Jacksons, you know. So I was listening to Find Me a Girl today, Going Places. Which which albums are they? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me make sure. I think it's uh Jackson's Songs Hope Jackson album re release. Let me see which ones they are. I know there's three of them. Re release re um Let's see the art. Um, not that. This is it. The first thing that come up. Um, mm, here it is. Four. It's four albums. Variety did it. Four albums. Okay. Uh, let's
let's see. Here we go. I'm going to turn it around. Okay, four albums. Um, four albums of the Jackson 78 catalog reissue campaign. So, which songs are they? Going Places, which is Find Me a Girl. I just listened to that today. Destiny and the Jacksons. That's one, two. Where's the three, four? One, two. Uh, Destiny, Going Places. Oh, Jacksons. One of them's titled The Jacksons. And The Jacksons Live. Okay, those are the four albums for real release. Okay, and that's the victory tour because Michael is singing Off the Wall, Thriller, uh, immediately preceded the blockbuster success of Michael Solo. Oh, the Jacksons Live is before. Okay, so that's not with Thriller. They kind of confuse it. Um, the 81 release featured five songs uh, um, from Michael Jackson's 79 Off the Wall album, Triumph, Destiny, and also, oh, Ben is one of Michael's greatest vocals, except for Who's Loving You, I believe, when Michael was a kid. Who's Loving You? Oh, my God. I just listened to Who's, Love, uh, Who's Loving You, and I think Michael was thinking about Diana Ross, because he sang that song like he meant it. I mean, gosh, Michael is such a great singer. Okay, so let's see what else. Oh, oh. Um, oh, I forgot to mention this last time to let you guys know that I'm not totally self-absorbed. I forgot to mention this in my last live. How could I? All right. I was on network TV in the UK. Okay. It's a show from the Travel Channel. Travel Channel. And it's called The Michael Jackson Mystery. Since his death, he didn't die. On June 25th, 2009, some fans have maintained that Michael Jackson is alive and in hiding. He is alive and he is in hiding because there's nothing. Why are people, why are major media afraid to tell the truth? I, I just don't get it. But anyway, that aired in the UK. I don't believe that it's aired in the United States. And if you guys can look and find and see if they've released it on uh, on the Internet, please do. Okay. Uh, somewhere. All right. Okay. Um so I, I forgot to mention that. Oh, here's a picture of me on it. Um, one of the fans, Linda, um, she um, she sent me uh, proof that it aired. That's me. And this was over a year ago, like a year. Oh, my God. Was it two years ago? It was a while ago. It was, I think, no, one year ago. Okay. Over a year, about a year ago. Yeah, a year ago. And um, I, my hair was a little different then. And this is what she captured it. Now, I haven't seen it yet. I haven't seen it yet, but she underestimated me in the interview, okay? Um, she, I had only watched a live one, even though I sent her a live two and a live three, right? And so um, some of the questions, she was a little upset that she wasn't as prepared as she should have been, and I was completely repaired. And all people can do, they can't dispute the facts that are in my documentary. They just say it's stupid or it's crazy or it's absurd, but they can't dispute the facts in my documentary, okay? You might want to give an alternative reason why something exists, but the fact is it still exists, and your alternative meaning does not dispute my facts that are in my documentary. It's 100% factual. Everything that's materially related is factual in the Alive docu-series, okay? Because if something was wrong, I have put out the disclaimer, one adjective. I give one hater one adjective that was misplaced. But it's still not wrong, though. But it's still not wrong. It's still not wrong, okay? So I was on UK TV. Wasn't that amazing? That was great. All right, so I hope it comes to, you, to the USA. I hope, you know, everybody gets to see it. And, um, and I don't know how they twisted it or how it, they explained it. But just by saying he died June 25th, 2009, there's no proof. None. None that Michael Joe Jackson is dead. Zero. Zero proof. Zero. I'm, I've been looking for it for almost, wait, 11 and a half years. Also, thank you, TC. At least T. Somebody sent this to me. Love you more. Love you more. So somebody sent this to me and just name, put their name on here as T. So thank you. And I'll tell you where I'm hanging it. Okay. I hang it right here by my door. Okay. With all the, you, you guys, this other Michael stuff that you guys gave me, you know, and then of course I showed you guys my room already. 
right Teresa that's down now this is the sweetest one okay look at Latoya winking right here uh, she's sending us a death hoax clue and that's me at a film festival and that's me and Ola Ray and that's me and Angel and one of the cousins to the Jacksons giving Joe an award for um, honor thy father and there's me and the Michael Jackson star and then me with the mural of Michael I was looking hot that day Okay, going to a Janet Jackson concert. And then there's me interviewing Joe Jackson in 2007. Yeah, gold hair. And then remember, um, there's the I Live on the Michael album and just Michael. And then here I am in the National Enquirer. Um, um, and, and it wasn't disrespectful. I think that they did a really good job except for the word Jacko, but I didn't choose the word Jacko. But other than that, it was a pretty good article. Um, about Michael faking his death. And then there's me and Lawrence Hilton Jacobs at Papa Joe Jackson's memorial. Um, um, Cecil knew him from way back in the day. Him and Cecil are really, they've known each other for, you know, I don't know, 50 years. Okay. Um, there's my e-movie book, Suicide. And then me and Cecil, when we finished Alive 2 um, with my am amateur cover, I'm so glad that Debbie McKeon uh, helped me with my cover. She did, um, then someone put these together. Yes, yeah, she did. It was great. And then Butterflies for a new beginning. And then that's just a Michael edit. And then somebody did an edit of me and Michael on Christmas. Isn't that cute? If only it was true. If only it was true. And then me with Jermaine um, at his concert. And a Paris Winkin. Thank you, Paris. And here's the trial and triumph of the King of Pop, the most widely distributed documentary about Michael's innocence due to Michael and Papa Joe helping me get it distributed by Warner Brothers. Um, oh, there's the same picture again. Oh, and then this is uh, a prisoner of fame that I called, instead of Michael, I call him Jack London. And you guys know Jack London. He's in Alive 4, why Michael used that as a clue. And a cute face of Michael. And here's the crew to um, a prisoner of fame. Some haters said it was a Russian crew. <laughs> As if I can afford to hire a Russian crew. And then there's me, uh, Brenda Ritchie, LaToya Jeffrey at uh, the Polo Lounge. So thank you, Teresa. Oh, and then here's me at Joe Jackson's birthday party with some, some people. That's when I have the gold hair. Okay, so anyway, Teresa, you were so sweet to make this, uh, to have this made for me. It's just so sweet. And then I have, you know... That's a painting of Michael by Jesse Rodales. And there's real tickets to This Is It. Real, real, real tickets to This Is It uh, that never happened, which was always meant to be a movie. And then um, just some other stuff, Michelle and Obama, you know, because we did an Obama documentary. And then Ruby and some of my nesting eggs and my son and my son and my, my son and my daughter when they were little. And then wink, wink, and dream. Okay, and then butterflies and believe. You know, I just kind of surround myself. There's a Michael bad thing. And, and you know, I have an, um, a, 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 um, oh, I got to go. I got to go. Um, I have a, um, a another award that I'm going to put up soon. And um, I got more stuff, guys, but I still need to, to get some more stuff. So I'm not done. Um, but anyway, guys, that is it. That is it, and um, I love you guys, and I will see you next time. Okay, make sure go to MichaelJacksonInsider.com if you haven't, and make sure you watch, you know, the whole Alive docuseries, because after you watch it, there is no way that you're going to believe that Michael Jackson died. You're going to know that Michael Jackson faked his death, and it is not a conspiracy theory. It is not a crazy theory. It is an in-depth 11-year investigation in which hundreds of fans are credited in my documentaries for helping out. All right, guys. See you and love you, love you, love you. Bye.